Yo guys, we got some really awesome spots for you guys to grind AP and XP at the end game when you finally beat Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth because when you get into hard mode, the game gives you triple XP and triple AP. So really best to wait until there when you beat the game and get chapter select to really start to grind those out. We're going to be showing you guys two methods. The first one right here is in Gungaga in this southern port, the cliffside storehouse. It's really just south of the Mog House, really. And the reason why this is one of the best places is because you're going to be getting AP on every single character, even if they're not in the battle. And they also will be leveling up as well. So Barrett, Red, Yuffie, Kate, Sip, all of them pack materia onto them that you guys want to level up and max out everything that you could think of guys now when it comes to swift cast materia and blue materia in general which has a really really high ap pool to level up in general you take the longest there's a second method that i will show you guys because this is going to take over i hear what twenty thousand, even more ap to level this up crazy now for this setup and generally any ap or xp grind setup really you're gonna want to use Aerith, have magnified materia on her with fire or whatever spell the enemies near you are weak to and just go insanely ham with her for other great things of course have first strike materia on her and atb boost i like the choco king cape on her as well that's if you have that if you don't have it you get that when you beat the gold cup in the gold saucer smart habit to get into is you know if you're using magnify fire whatever it is magnify thunder magnify blizzard make sure you also have a mp absorb paired to a fire materia so this way anytime you cast that fire attack they will be giving you an Aerith back mp so this method we're at the cache location we're gonna run up on these enemies right here i have it set to automatically switch to Aerith, so we're gonna go arcane ward atv boost and fire raga on these enemies should wipe them out insane so now we're gonna run over here and same thing we're gonna go into arcane war with Aerith. and honestly they're pretty weak so we'll just use a fyra so now that you killed them both what you're gonna want to do is save and thanks to the ps5 this is actually really really simple save reload and because it's loading back so fast and you're standing in this specific area the enemies will respawn and you can just jump back into battle with Aerith and do the same exact thing <laughs> it's actually pretty funny too you see the character levels are just ridiculous by the way we started doing this at level 51 and within like 10 minutes we were already in the 60s 65 ish area so we'll do it again here to these enemies and now you're probably wondering okay so what do i do if i run out of mp since on hard mode you can't use items to heal well actually what you could do is go to this choco stop right over here any choco stop really sit on it with a cushion and this is a really cool feature that they did in specifically for hard mode in final fantasy 7 rebirth i hope they don't change this but if you look on the bottom right, you'll see that on hard mode, this actually does refund HP and MP to fully max. So Aerith is back up at 105. Life is good. You run that a couple times, guys. That'll max out whatever materia it is that you want. Get your characters to 70. Get you situated really well. And it, again, it also works on the characters that are passively in the back of the party. They're also getting levels and they're also getting their materia leveled up as well so just stockpile everything on the extra characters like i mean i already got all of this leveled up on barrett just a few times like while we were running this uh all i have left is like the purple materia and essentially the blue ones special thank you to anthony gianuzzi and bradman for showing me this method on stream last night now before we get into the ultimate swift cast method make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can help raise at 38 percent even higher we got more more guides coming your way we finally beat the game and there's a ton of hard mode stuff we need to tackle and i'm determined to bring you guys the most simple and crazy broken methods to just blow this game up in the best possible ways and also get op while doing it now with that being said let's get into the swift cast method you can use it for whatever material it is you want but swift cast really benefits a lot from this so we're gonna have the chocobo armband you get this from doing the chocobo sage side quest when you equip this you will have less material slots but what this does is it triples the amount of ap earned for all the material that is slotted into that armor so what you're going to want to do is put a AP up material, which doubles the AP. 
do that math it's insane <laughs> and pair that to swift cast i already got swift cast to level three that just completely shot up like insanely but i'm gonna show you guys real quick just what you gotta do and uh essentially for what i have on air they have magnify materia with fire and i have mp absorb materia with fire first strike materia atv boost and choco king's cape which you get from the gold saucer it's not necessarily important but it's good to help you with the atb generation in the very beginning at least so we're gonna go to system chapter select we're gonna go all the way down to chapter 13 because you could fully fast travel immediately from here you could do it from any other chapter but chapter 13 is pretty quick reset all quest data what this basically will do will reset all of the side quests not the proto relics the side quests so that you can go into this mission and do and redo things so this way you can get manuscripts from them and then uh, you also have the restore previously completed quest data, which you can do to restore the completed quest data from your master save file. The, the, the basically all the achievements and everything that has been done, you can restore it from there. But I'm going to reset all, click on hard and uh, hit yes. Skip the cutscenes as soon as it loads up. And what we're going to do is we're going to press the touchpad as soon as we get control of the game. Right. Go into the region, select Nebel. And uh, we're going to go to Nibelheim run into cloud's house right here and we're going to take this quest from this uh chef it is regarding tifa's cat fluffy so we're gonna skip it continue with the quest and since you've already done this quest before if you um, hopefully you've already done it if you haven't yet then you gotta walk all the way here but we could just fast travel to it so approach the cats you're gonna trigger the quest and let's see as soon as we get in you can skip this cutscene. should start off in a b battle here so we're gonna start off in a battle here we're gonna drop an arcane ward with Aerith, atb boost and i like to use fire us for this with magnify because because of the mp absorb she's gonna basically go back to full mp at the very end you see all that <laughs> she's already at 90 mp and if there's like a few enemies left you could just finished them off with cloud if you want to save mp you don't have to like she's just straight up going to be getting a lot of mp with this method so when you complete that first one you're going to follow fluffy and fluffy's going to take us to a second swarm of bees and with the second swarm of bees we're gonna do the same thing arcane ward atb boost you could even do like regular fire instead of fira if you want It doesn't matter. Actually, no, I think regular fire instead of fire will be good for this next part that we have to do. Notice Aerith is still at full MP, guys. <laughs> this is why you want to use Fyra instead of Fyraga, because Fyraga does also cost 2 ATB. It does make the grinding process a little bit faster, but downtime in between moves to build up ATB could take a little bit longer. And we're getting a lot of AP thrown into Swiftcast right now. It is so damn good. And also, make sure that you guys also have your material that you want on your other characters as well so here is the grind spot the actual grind spot of this entire uh side quest so we're gonna do the same thing arcane ward and for here you can use fire or fire don't use a fire raga in this moment what we're gonna want to do is kill off all the tiny bees and the queen bee will get hit but as long as the queen bee is alive she will keep respawning the other bees Yeah, I'll just do Fyras. And I'm just gonna wait. Let the Queen summon them. Alright, we'll build us some ATB with Aerith. No big deal. You could also put you could also put uh Fyra and uh Magnify on other teammates as well. Yo, I kinda wish in a perfect world this Queen Bee's like shield right there would have been a magic shield. So we could have just saved it but you notice the queen bee is not taking that much damage really okay there's only one bee left so i'm actually just gonna focus on killing it like that remember we want to keep the queen bee alive bring out the worker bees just rinse repeat this over and over again you notice Aerith is not running out of mp at all she's just like <laughs> regaining a crazy amount of it back these regular fires here and i'm trying to minimize how much damage i do to this queen bee i did not want to do that i just was trying to parry but i'm too much of a boss and there we go that was actually quite a long time probably like five minutes of grinding right there we kept getting fires off and it was not doing enough damage to kill the queen bee which was super convenient and you see after all that Aerith was still left with 83 mp 
We know. <laughs> uh tifa we ended up having to use heals on but i forgot to say like yeah we should put heals on cloud and uh tifa to help support that right there but now let's check out where we are at that's a crazy amount <laughs> to get right there holy crap that took about five minutes guys just casting fires over and over again and we went from 1470 ap all the way to 4566 on swift cast materia so this could actually get you swift cast fully maxed out within an hour i would imagine depending on how quick you're going back and chapter select and going back into this quest seriously if you're having trouble leveling up your blue materia this is a really great way to go ahead and do that take advantage of this swift cast whatever other material is you want to level up if you want to like, you could do this in one shot one run literally repeat this as many times as you guys need be sure to take advantage of the chocobo armband and this build for Aerith, and make sure to have some heals and stuff ready for the other the characters to help support if you need it because the fight can go on quite long and you will eventually get poisoned and you could die from poison if you're just not paying attention but do this to get swift cast up there and other materia at your choosing